The Russian military started using World War II-era M30 howitzers in the war against Ukraine. One of the Russian military published a video of the damaged howitzer. According to military media outlet, the howitzer in the video is the 122mm M30 developed in the 1930s and actively used by the Soviet army in the war against Nazi Germany. According to the author, the howitzer captured in the video was damaged as a result of an attack on their positions by Ukrainian FPV drones in the amount of about 15 units. The author also notes that the howitzer stood at the position for two days, after which it was put out of action due to constant shelling by Ukrainian defenders. The M30 howitzer has a 22.7 caliber barrel, which allows it to fire at a range of up to 12 kilometers. It is capable of firing a wide range of 122mm shells, which allows it to be unified with other 122mm artillery systems. It should be noted that over the past year, the Russian military has started to actively restore artillery systems from the 1930s and 1960s due to an acute shortage of artillery systems. In addition, the enemy is currently repairing its own artillery systems using naval guns that are currently being decommissioned. Militani previously reported that the Russians have started using a hybrid of a naval gun and a carriage from an M46 towed artillery gun. There is a high probability that these hybrid guns are manufactured by Russian enterprises to provide the troops with a required quantity of artillery systems. Since the AK-130 naval guns have been manufactured since the early 1980s, the Russian Navy has a lot of them in their warehouses. Since the AK-130 is not installed on new ships, it is possible for decommissioned guns to be used in land-based systems. Hey, Kot, you alive with us? Ah, Kot. More than a hundred Russian conscripts went missing during the Ukrainian offensive in the Kursk region. The parents turned to Russian Z war correspondents for help, but were harshly refused. This was reported by the Russian opposition publication Important Stories, which spoke with the relatives of the missing. Journalists were able to establish the identities of 125 conscripts from different regions of the Russian Federation who went missing in battles in the Kursk region. Their relatives are being intimidated, demanding that they not bring this topic to the public. Assistants contact the parents of conscripts and explain that it is not worth talking publicly about the capture, death and disappearance of conscripts so as not to play along with Ukrainians and not to confront the authorities, the article says. The parents try to turn to Z-War correspondents for help but were refused en masse. Alexander Kotz, Semyon Pegov, Yuri Podolyaka, Evgeny Podubny, Emil Timashev and the URA.ru publication were afraid to raise this topic on their resources. They explained their decision with an article about military fakes. Starting a major war against Ukraine, Russian dictator Vladimir Putin promised Russians that conscripts would not fight. This turned out to be a lie. Moreover, Kremlin propaganda is now actively talking about the need to involve conscripts in the so-called special military operation due to the fact that the war has moved to Russian territory. Putin is trying to distance himself from this topic as much as possible and does not comment on it. And this causes bewilderment and anger among Russians. Putin flew to Chechnya to negotiate not about exchanging our children but about Akhmat. And our guys are of no use to anyone except us complained the mother of one of the missing conscripts. It is known that during their offensive in the Kursk region, the Ukrainian armed forces captured at least 250 conscript soldiers who were on the border. Russian media claim that the Russian military command is now massively transferring conscripts to the Kursk region and taking away their mobile phones. Parents are being urged to mentally prepare for the fact that their children will take part in military operations.